Joy Lab. Hi, I'm Tanya. I found this garlic bread in the freezer of my grocery store. You know, it's okay. I have a cheese bread recipe that I love so much more than a store-bought freezer loaf of garlic bread. And the best thing is this cheese bread can be made for the freezer just like this. I am all about making my life easier with freezer meals. I look at every opportunity I can to change recipes into something that you can serve now and then also prepare for the freezer so that any time in the future, if I'm craving cheese bread, I can pull a loaf out of the freezer and have delicious cheese bread for myself and my family too, of course. Let me show you how. This is a quick one bowl recipe. I'm going to slice my French bread that I bought from the grocery store, fresh and soft. Add mayonnaise, garlic, Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, butter, and a little bit of paprika for color and a little bit of flavor. About the ingredients, if you're going to use butter in your recipes, you've got to use Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. All right, is it actually made in Ireland and shipped here to the US? I, who knows? Are the cows really happy eating that Irish grass and listening to Irish Celtic music and making delicious butter? I have no idea. I just know that the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter tastes really good. And I'm not like a sponsor of them either. I just want you to have your best cheese bread ever. Let me show you how this works. I'm gonna slice the loaf in half and let's see if I can do this while you're watching and make it as even as possible. It's not always easy to perform well under pressure. Ah, not so bad. Two halves of a French bread loaf. One cup of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise in cheese bread, I was doubtful, but you can't beat the results. So just know that this isn't a diet recipe. <laughs> and bring on the mayonnaise. Bring, that's a, Whoa, I think that's a mayonnaise commercial even. Bring out the best foods and bring out your best. Is this best food? Ah, oh, it is. Wow, commercials really work. Bring out the best foods and bring out your best. <laughs> kind of scary, isn't it? One cup of mayonnaise. I am using minced garlic from a jar. But Tanya, it doesn't take that much work to buy a real clove of garlic and slice off the ends and peel off the skin and then dice up all the little pieces. Yes, it does. It does take a lot of work. And to me, the end results don't taste that much different. So I am using minced garlic. So there. Six cloves. A teaspoon is a clove. The recipe is cheese bread, but you can bet it's garlic cheese bread. Crud, is that four? Five? I'm gonna hope that is six cloves of garlic. Three fourths of a cup. Parmesan cheese. Not a diet recipe. Woo, half a cup 
cheddar. Butter, you're going to do one tablespoon at room temperature. And here I have it all room temperatured for you. And the tiny bit of paprika, just for a little bit of color, a little bit of flavor, a fourth teaspoon. I'll mix this all together. I have two halves of a loaf to fill. I want to make sure that I don't cheat one half of the loaf. So I'm going to kind of divide the cheese topping in half and then just plop it down on each half. Because it's a mayonnaise base instead of a melted butter base, the cheese part is not soaking in right away. When you heat this up in the oven, yes, there will be some absorption of the moisture of the cheese spread. It's much easier to spread and the resulting cheese bread stays with a nice thick bubbly layer of cheese spread on the top. See how easy that was? I could bake this in the oven right now and it would be so delicious. I would just eat it up. My goal is freezer meals. I'm trying to make it so that I have some for now and some for later. So I will put these on a cookie sheet and freeze them just exposed to the air like this. After they're frozen, I'll bring them out and wrap them in aluminum foil and I will show you how to do that very soon. Well, not very soon. After they freeze, I'll show you how to do that. I'll see you in a bit. Our cheese bread is frozen. Now that we've frozen it, we can wrap it. I didn't want to wrap it first because all this ooey gooey stuff would stick on whatever it was we used to wrap it. Whatever it was, whatever it is, is going to be heavy duty aluminum foil. Always use heavy duty aluminum foil for your freezer needs. Which way is best? Just barely long enough. Write our instructions, cheese bread. Now this one you want to thaw overnight in the fridge. Not like the one from the grocery store where you can bake it from frozen. This one you're going to thaw overnight in the fridge and then simply broil. But while it's thawing, you don't want all that cheesy goodness to stick on the back of the foil. So when you pull it out of the freezer, it will have become compacted because you have lots of things in the freezer if you're anything like me. When you pull it out of the fridge, loosen 
the top layer so it's not sitting on that cheesy goodness. You could even unwrap. In fact, let's say that. Unwrap, thaw overnight in the fridge. I'm gonna say 350 for five minutes just to warm it up and then broil two minutes. Deliciousness, and I'm gonna go and eat some right now as soon as I'm done talking with you. Let's compare. On the right, we have the garlic bread from the freezer of the grocery store. On the left, we have the cheese bread from the freezer of Tanya's house, the one that we made together. Hot, 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 oh, so hot. Oh, I wish you were here to smell this. This bread smells amazing. Or maybe it's this bread that smells amazing. Which do you think? I can tell you which one looks more exciting, but it's an unfair comparison. The one on the right is garlic bread. So we know it's just butter and garlic and some sort of seasoning on top. And the one on the left is the one with all that cheesy goodness. It's not a fair comparison. So with that, we'll do the taste test. That's good. Hopefully this doesn't burn my mouth, but it probably will. It's amazing. Let me tell you, I could make a dinner just with this cheese bread. I love it so much. But this isn't bad. It's different. This isn't bad. Why am I doing this? The whole point is you can have not bad or you can have amazing and both come from your freezer and both take just a tiny bit of work. This going to the grocery store, this going to the grocery store, mixing and putting on the top. Both live in your freezer and are ready to be used whenever you want some gooey deliciousness. That's the magic of freezer meals. You get to do the work ahead of time. You're front loading the work so you have no mess and no stress at dinner time. Help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting. If you like, subscribe, or comment, it lets YouTube know that people are interested in freezer meals and they'll put my videos in front of other people who want to make their lives so much easier. I also have tons of resources in the description below, so make sure you check those out. I'm Tanya. Thanks for watching. 
Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.